I've had this massive, rare, custom Magneto diorama for two months and I haven't reviewed it. Find out why today. Hey guys, welcome to the Extreme Channel. Today we're gonna look at this piece right here and we are not gonna review it. What do I mean? Hang on to that. First, I wanna tell you about a giveaway we're doing. We're giving away these two Venom statues right here. If you're interested to find out, make sure to hit that like button right now and stay tuned towards the end of the video and we're gonna tell you how. This is a really precarious situation. So let me give you some background. This custom diorama right here, I ordered sometime about a year ago. And eventually production started, it got done, and right before Chinese New Year, it was shipped to me. I was one of the only people that actually it got shipped to. And it was packaged horribly, absolutely horribly. And it came in about 10 different pieces. And I don't mean assembly like you normally have to on a statue, which we're gonna talk about, but broken. And unfortunately, all the broken pieces happened right before Chinese New Year. So nothing could be done about it. The commissioner of the project uh, I reached out to, very responsive, he is all over it. He's been giving me updates. Um, we are working on getting everything replaced. So I'm not worried about that. However, there's some rumor that some virus or something is happening in China. Um, so that is slowing things down even more. But it's been two months and I've been working on semi-repairing him. He's not really repaired, there's glue marks all over. Most of this is gonna fall apart if you look at it funny. But I got it together enough to show you guys an overview. I don't want to do an in-depth review today because you're going to see a lot of that nastiness. So we're going to stay away from that. But it's such a cool piece and it's so rare. I wanted to share it with you guys. The statue. But uh, So what we're going to do today is I'm just going to kind of look at it and then take it all in. A, that's what she said. And share some of my thoughts. We're gonna go over some of the basic aspects of it. So this is officially the custom 1 4th scale Magneto Triumphant Diorama. What does all that mean? Well, first of all, when I say custom, it means it was a private commission. I don't remember the edition size on this. Typically, this custom group makes an edition size of about 30 or 35. I actually have a number of their pieces. Stay tuned towards the end of the video and you'll see the other three pieces I actually own. I have a fifth piece. This Rogue is actually in transit right now. They're doing an entire X-Men line and I'm getting most of it. One fourth scale means it is scaled down four times smaller than what these characters would be in real life. Now with this, this is actually from a comic book cover. Check it out right here. This is where this is derived from. It is an extremely ambitious project, which honestly I don't think had anything to do with the breakages. I think a lot of it was just poor packing, but we'll talk about that. And this is Magneto. Magneto is one of my favorite characters, my top five favorite characters. If you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe because I have tons of Magneto stuff. Here's some of it right here. So, the so these are current Magneto pieces that I own. This is the Age of Apocalypse. I've done a review on him. Here are three of my favorite Magnetos right next to each other. And you'll actually see little Mark Nito down there as well, which is gonna be a giveaway uh, coming up soon. And of course I have the classic XM Magneto in Throne. And I have a number of Magnetos on order. First, these two pieces are actually with my painter. Not my painter, I don't own him, but with the person who is painting them. So I should get those in the next four to six months. Then I have an ultimate Magneto. And then I have three Magnetos, custom Magnetos. These are all custom that I can't even tell you about. And of course, I also had one from another custom company that recently shut down a third scale one. Some of you know what I'm talking about. But I love Magneto, I love his power. I think he's, he's a very cool character. I love the fact this was an instant buy for me. I mean, the concept is just so cool. He has defeated the X-Men. I've never actually read that comic. I, I want to because of this. Magneto is triumphant, obviously. He's victorious. He's standing there. He's destroyed the X-Men. Professor X is still alive. He's the only one left alive, and he's kind of his slave. It is very, very well done. So an interesting thing conceptually with this is why isn't Professor X using his mind powers on Magneto? Well, Magneto actually comes with four different head portraits. Here's a picture of all of them right here. Some of these I'm not a fan of at all, and we will do a review one day with up close paint and sculpt. Also with these head portraits, they all have a different collar making him look in a different direction, which is kind of inconvenient, but it's neat that that is an option. But my favorite is this one right here that I actually have on him. 
And the problem with that is his helmet isn't protecting him from Professor X's power. But maybe he's choking Professor X too much. Who knows what's going on? So he's victorious. The X-Men are defeated below him. Uh, they're turned to kind of like the stone. And I don't know the story behind it, so maybe someone can put that in the comments. Uh, someone who's read that cover and understands why they look like they're in stone. And it's done really well. You know, what's interesting about this piece, my favorite part of it is not Magneto, it's the rest of it. Uh, not only Professor X, but the different characters in the base. And speaking of that, one cool thing they did with this is there are a ton of display options. There are so many display options, and I'm not just talking about the portrait switchouts. But if you want, you can actually display Magneto alone. Check out right here. Or you can display him with just the front part of the base in Cyclops. Or you can put that water effect to match the comic book cover over Cyclops. Or you can display him as a whole, as I have. And you'll notice this doesn't have Professor X on it either, so he is removable. And if you want, you can do a number of things with Professor X. You can actually put him on his knees in front of Magneto, or another statue for that matter. You can put him on the base itself. Or if you got a really sick, twisted mind, I actually borrowed this idea from someone else. And here is the display as a whole. So very cool you have all those different display options. A um, few things I wanna do some close-ups for you guys. And again, like I said, there's a lot of glue and crap like that. But let's just look at Magneto. You saw the portrait, but he's a ripped out Magneto, as Magneto always is. I always hate how muscular Magneto is, especially in statues. I think the paint and sculpt on him is okay on this. Like I said, we're not doing a full review. I've seen worse, I've definitely seen better. But Magneto isn't the shining star. His cape, really smart. It's a really light material, so you don't have to worry about leaning or anything like that. But it looks good. The way it's flowing matches the cover, I believe. But then the base is where it's awesome. Take a look at it. You can clearly tell who these stone characters are. And I don't mean 420 stoned. I mean turned to stone. We have Gambit. We have Psylocke. Wolverine, Rogue, and then Professor X as well. He looks awesome. There aren't many Professor X statues, but this is an awesome Professor X right here. And what's interesting, they're actually doing a counterpart piece for this that I have on order with Apocalypse. Here's a picture of it right here. So I think these two will look amazing paired next to each other. They're actually meant to be companion pieces as you see they have different X-Men on them. Now cost on this guy was quite a bit. It was $1,450, $1,450 I believe, give or take, um, which is huge. But if you think about it, you almost have four or five one-fourth scale characters. Uh, shipping was uh, quite a bit. It was I think about $500. So you're almost $2,000 in for such a crazy diorama. But I really like it. I mean, I'm not grading it today or anything, but I like the concept is out of this world in my opinion. Um, I like the tons of different display options. Um, it's just neat. It's really, really cool. I think paint and sculpt on some of it's really good. Some of it could have used some improvement, but uh, very, it's a great centerpiece to an X-Men collection or a Magneto collection. So when I get all, mine all fixed up and good to go, I will definitely sh uh, do an in-depth review for you guys. I will show you where he's gonna be at in the collection. You know, I haven't looked at it really for two months since uh, I unboxed it and it was in pieces, but uh, I'm looking at it now, I'm really excited. Not that excited, but. So if you guys wanna know how to win that Venom statue, go ahead and make sure you've liked this video if you have not already. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you've hit the bell notification. Comment below what you think the best Magneto statue is. There's tons of options, both custom and licensed. I actually used to own the Sideshow one. I've actually reviewed it. You can check it out here, the new Sideshow maquette, but I ended up selling it to Gem Mint. But I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we are counting down the top Wolverine statues in the X collection, and there is a lot of them. So don't miss it. Take care, guys.